Hey everybody, Sean here, Boosted Miata, and today we're going down under. So come on, let's do this. Oh, wait. Need the camera, come on. So on New Year's Day, I went on a New Year's Day drive with the local Fiat Club here in, uh, in San Francisco, actually down the peninsula. We took some great windy roads, some great twisties, had a good old time. I have a video, I'll post that video here if you wanna see it. Anyway, I noticed after uh, some time that my speedometer wasn't working. I'm like, what? That's annoying. Even though I have a GPS speedometer on my phone and I hook that up to my head unit and I have the speed there, I'm always looking at my speedometer. I'm just used to it and I really want it to work, so I'm gonna fix that now. The second generation Miatas, the NBs, they use an electronic sensor. The earlier cars, so if you have an NA, it's probably got a cable. On the NBs and later cars, they used a speed sensor. And let me show you where that is right here. That thing right there, that is the speed sensor. And typically, those things go bad after a while. Uh, this one is, is original, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that is the problem. I'm gonna pull that out and take a look, bring it on the bench and see what we can do. So let me pull that out right now. So they're held in with a 10 millimeter hex head bolt. They're in a really tricky spot here. Uh, there's a power plant frame here. And also on my car, I've got this uh, butterfly brace here that's kind of in the way. And of course I got my light here that's in my way. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this light out of the way. I don't know if you can still see that. I'll try to get some light up there somehow. Oh, there we go. Oh, I should be able to get this off by hand now. All right. Now I'm going to get a screwdriver and try to pop that out. There it goes. Now it might leak a little bit. Before I pull it out, I want to explain. I have the car at a rake. So I lifted up the rear end right here on some jack stands. And the front, the front's also list, lifted because it's so low, I can't get under here with my big gut. Uh, but it's not lifted as high. So I have the car on a rake, so it's leaning. Uh, the back's higher than the front. And that's to keep all the transmission oil toward the front of the transmission because it will leak out. You'll lose probably half a quart. Anyway, this is a pain in the ass. Uh, I can't get my gun in there very easily. Uh, and it is leaking, as I feared. So a rag would be a very good idea here. And there it comes. Okay. So it's out. So I already diagnosed the problem. The cable... Uh, the connector, cable connector, has completely come off the sensor. And here's the connector that came off of it. So I just need to solder this connector back onto this sensor, and that should fix my problem. So let's bring it to the bench and see if we can't fix it. So here's the sensor, and I think uh, it's pretty obvious what happened here. This connector, which goes right like that, pretty much broke off and you can see here the ends of the wires are still stuck in the sensor and uh, obviously they broke off of here so what I'm going to need to do is pull this green plastic potting stuff out of the sensor so I can get to whatever they attach to in there and kind of resolder everything for this operation uh, to do this repair I'm going to need obviously a uh, soldering iron solder, wire cutters and strippers, heat shrink. I'm gonna use some silicone sealant to fill in uh, this little potting area since I'm gonna lose all that. I'll probably use the silicone sealant to kind of fill that in to kind of seal it up again. And that's that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and try to get this stuff out. I'm going to try to cut it around the edge here without cutting myself. And 
Let's see if I can't pull this out. There it goes. Okay. All right, and so you can see here the little ends of the wires. You can see those ends. They terminate right there. I don't know if it makes any difference in terms of polarity. I don't think it does. All right, this little end here comes right off. Okay, so I got my ends ready to solder. I'm gonna use some new heat shrink here. So we'll go ahead and measure this out. I got a little vise I'm gonna use to help me here. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to even up these leads um, so I can solder them as clean as possible. I'm gonna kind of pre-solder these a little bit to kind of hold them closed. There we go. So you can see the issue here. I have to get these uh, wires soldered onto those little terminals there. You know, there's not a lot of room to work with. I'm not an expert solderer at all. I don't really do electrical stuff at all. Uh, so this is kind of tricky for me. But let's we'll see if we can get it to work. So what I can do is push these wires around. Kind of wrap them around like so. Here we go. All right, not gonna mess with it beyond that. I think I got good contact, I got them separated. I'm gonna put some silicone sealant in there, kind of seal it all up and hold it all together and hopefully that does the trick. So I'm gonna let this silicone sealant uh, seal up, actually. Let it firm up for a little while. Let it sit here for a few hours until uh, it's kinda uh, tacky, and then I'll put it back on the car and we'll test it. It's a little tricky to get in there. You gotta angle it down to go in. You got the ladder brace in the way, so it's a little tricky to get back in there, but if you're careful, take your time, you'll get it in. Okay, the sensor is back in the transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. I have it up on jack stand so I can run it through the gears and we can see if the speedometer is working. There it goes. It works. Everything seems to work. Hopefully it will work for a while longer. The only thing I probably would do different is use some epoxy resin instead of that silicone sealer. I think that silicone sealer is, is not adhesive enough. It can probably pop out once it cures. Hopefully it'll be okay, but we'll find out. If it doesn't work, I'll pull it off. It's not a big job. I can pull it off and do it again. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Why don't you give this video a like if you like it? And why don't you subscribe if you want to see more videos and make sure you hit the little alarm there so you get notified when I post a new video. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.